Okay, so I got some zoom in it. I don't know if any of you have seen the infomercial. Um, I'm going to try it. The little carrier does not come with it, but instruction book, um, different shades, some mist cleaners back here. Um, I'm going to start with the primer and then I'm going to move on to probably concealer and some foundation. Never done this before. So I'm strictly going by step by step. They send you this really cool little packet. Lots of cool information. So um, I haven't even opened any of it yet. So um, I got it like a week ago. And uh, I'm putting it off. But here we go. So I got my mirror set up. So if I'm looking that way, it's just because I have a mirror in front of me. Because I really have no idea how this is going to turn out. Um, it says, if you open this little thing on the top, this is the, I guess, the flow. Like how you do this. I have no idea how this is going to turn out. It could be a total train wreck. So, it should be interesting. Let's just shake this up really good. This is the primer. I'm a little hesitant. Why not? So, it says you're supposed to put like six drops in here, six to eight. We'll go with seven. We'll go in between. Let's see what happens. And then this says, so you start at a certain part of your face and you kind of work down, up, and down the bridge of your nose. Close that. Power button. I can feel air. So when I pull on this, I guess we'll see what happens. So. Kind of cool. I figured it'd be going in my eyes, but it's really not. Like even down the bridge of my nose. Okay. So that's about... And you can feel when it runs out of everything, completely gone. Once it's gone, all you feel is air. So, there's the moisturizer slash primer. So far, so good. We'll see you in This is concealer, so we'll put this just around my eyes because... Lord knows if you're not sleep enough, you can see the bugs. Alright, shake it up for really good. And it says concealer. Alright. Add a few drops in here. under the eyes it really doesn't even go in your eyes it's kind of crazy kind of nuts. Oh, I think I got too much on one side I'm not even sure we're supposed to blend this but I'm just gonna leave it see what happens <laughs> a little bit too much over there a little wonky. I'm probably messing it up by touching it, but okay. And then we have the foundation. And it came with like lip gloss and eyeshadow and all that, but I'm just playing this. I'm going with a lighter. I 
came with different, this is way too dark for me, came with like four different shades. I'm sure you could probably blend them if you wanted to, to get your skin tone, but I'm just going to go black because I'm pretty pale. So, it's Alaska. I don't get any sun. So, you should see my legs. They're pretty translucent. Okay. Now if I can get into it. Like I said, I have not. It's my first time doing this. It's a little scary that I'm going to share this with everybody, but I know my girl's out there got my back because... Some of you, and you know who you are, kind of my inspiration for even like videoing this. But all right, okay, the lid. This is you can do two or three passes, so. You don't just have to do one of the foundation, you can just whatever coverage you're comfortable with. And down the bridge of the nose. charger cable and all of that. That didn't drop. Do another pass. I have terrible skin. Well, it might take a few. But, um, definitely still faster than even using my sponge and the foundation. And do one more. Kind of like a big face. Definitely going to have to take some practice. I'm thinking if I get, once I get my powder on, and some eyeshadow, eyeliner, mascara, all that, might not be so bad. Blend a little bit. I didn't really prepare very well for this. I didn't bring all my other stuff out to my table, like my eyeshadow and stuff. I just wanted to kind of see what kind of coverage I was going to get. more Let's see what happens but all right thanks for watching we'll give it a shot